there guys, welcome to Model Behaviour and it is another eBay unboxing. So you know how this works. Folks who are friends of mine, friends of the show, they send me stuff that they don't want anymore. I get to do a fun unboxing and then I put them all on eBay for them and we see what they go for. So I've got a big box of Spawn figures here, proper retro old school, late 90s, early 2000s McFarlane Spawn figures. So I've got a knife, let's find out what's in here. I've actually done most of the cutting already, but I know for a fact <laughs> there is a lot more unpacking to do because these have been masterfully wrapped. So we've got a whole lot of Christmas snow and the first thing we have here is She Spawn 2. So let's get this off the table. And let's take a look at some of these because I used to have a big collection of Spawn figures back in the late 90s and the early 2000s, and I eventually sold them all for pretty much peanuts. So I've been wanting to rebuy some of the old classics and ooh, get some, uh, some new ones as well. And here we have She Spawn 2. And look, the whole thing with McFarlane is they're barely action figures because they're so much more statues, really. And that's a good and a bad thing. You know, the, the great thing is they look Beautiful. You know, the the design, the sculpt, the paintwork are all absolutely stunning. The only problem is that, of course, you don't really have much say over what kind of pose they're in. They are going to be in the pose that they come in. You're going to be hard pressed to put them in any other sort of position. You can rotate things like, like the hips, for example. You can rotate the hips and the thighs, but why? Because it doesn't flow with the contour of, of the body. And that's kind of like a good and, and bad thing. It, it means that the pose that it does come in looks like anatomically perfect. Everything fits the way it should. There are no ugly gaps or anything, but it kind of takes away the fun of having action figures, you know, because you can't really be creative with them. That's what I love so much about Marvel Legends. You can, you know, put them in whatever positions you want, or more to the point even, you can swap over heads and parts and weapons and accessories, and there's a real sort of freedom of creativity with what you can do there that you really can't do with McFarlane toys. It's, it, it, it's, like, it's like they said, look, we're the artists here. We know what's going to look best, so just, just, just deal with it. Just take it for what it is and enjoy the pretty figures that we've made. And most of the time I'm like, okay because these guys do know what they're doing. I gotta try and figure out where this, or how this little bit sits. Is this a shoulder thing, or does this go? Ah, there's a plug in her back, which is shaped, ah! Does this go like so? I think so. So we hook this around and plug in the back. Come on, little fingers. All right, is that blade support? Supposed to go in front of her face? I don't know about that. This is a bit of a tricky one here. Might have to turn this the other way. No, the other way definitely won't work. Okay, I'm gonna pop this back around on here and that looks a little bit, or, oh, maybe, ah, ha, 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 I got it now. There we go. So there, she has the big spikes going on on her back there. And also what's really nice is she has this little tuft of actual hair type hair. That's the thing, the quality of these things is quite amazing, but it's just a case of whether or not you want a statue or an action figure or a statue figure. That doesn't work. But yeah, huge, massive, big gun, cool little sort of biohazard type uh, design on there. The face itself with, with the uh, target, the, the dead shot type target there, it looks really, really cool. There's a real sort of um, cyberpunk, post-apocalypse type design here. It's just a case of also figuring out like, how does this thing stand? It's uh, not the easiest to stand up, but you can, you can get it there. Again, you have to find out how the sculptor intended it to stand and go from there. So yeah, that looks pretty damn cool there. I really dig that. So, uh, oh wait, and this looks loose. So this must plug in, ah, I see. This plugs in at the back of here. And there we go. That's a really handsome figure. I kind of dig this. 
because originally I agreed to put these on eBay. Well, I agreed. I offered to put these on eBay because we were discussing about me buying some of them and I was like, mm, they're nice, but they're not ones that I really, really want. But actually now that I've got this, this one in hand, this is pretty cool. I might, <laughs> I might have to like make a little private offer. So like rather than going on eBay, can I just give you this for this? Because that's nice. That's a really nice figure. Right, we have Kin now. And I think this is like a weird Billy Kincaid pig type creature. Um, I think I saw some pictures of it. And I was like, what in the blue blazes is that? So like typical gross out McFarlane monster type thing. Whoop. So let's take a look at what Kin looks like. Oh yeah, that's some nightmare fuel right there. We have folks, Kin. What a gross looking creature this is. So it's a, a figure of two parts. You got this little guy here attached to the top of this pig fella. Um, oh, just so gnarly. Like he's carrying a severed arm and a, a hatchet. And then he's got this weird contraption with the pig snout that goes over his face. Why would anyone buy this in the first place? Who, <laughs> who wanted this? What's sick freak? <laughs> My goodness. This is quite bizarre. I'm not sure how exactly that fits on nicely. I don't think, <laughs> nothing about this figure is nice, but it kind of sort of goes like, ah, come on you little. It kind of sort of goes like that, but it's a weird mess of a thing. I don't know even when this was released back in the 2000s or so, like, why? Why would you want this bizarre creation? So weird, but and the, I don't, there's barely, there's barely any articulation here at all. The the arms rotate a little bit, so you can sort of rotate the arms out, but that's that's about it. That is a weird, <laughs> weird looking dude. That can definitely, that's one for eBay. Okay, wow, there is a lot of stuff here. My goodness. Okay, so coming up next, we have the Black Knight. Okay, I've got no idea. No idea what this is, but it sounds pretty cool. So we're gonna take a little look at the Black Knight. And oh, wow, okay, this is a cool one. This is pretty cool. Check out the Black Knight, oh mi mio. That's a badass looking spawn figure right there. Always gotta love the different versions of spawn. Got the cool little chain that actually links it together there. Got, uh, looks almost like a dream catcher on his back. That's, again, really cool. Again, more of a statue than a figure, although there, there is some articulation going on there, but not a huge amount. He comes with a little action figure. Action figure, what am I saying? No, he comes with a trading card. This is the action figure, if you can call it an action figure. And he has, ah yes, this little stand is what the trading card goes into. That's kind of fun. So you got that there. And then of course we have the Black Knight with a sword here. Oh, which she did say um, there was another sword that the handle snaps off in his hand. So he's holding the handle of a sword, which I guess um, is just not, not here with this, which is fine. Uh, but again, you don't really need that. He's got one sword, that's plenty. You know, but how much, how much more killing are you gonna do? Uh, let's face it, he's spawned. He doesn't really need weapons. He he kind of is is dangerous and destructive enough himself. So that's fine. We don't need <laughs> we don't need any, don't need any further accoutrements to this guy. So there's so much stuff in here. It's awesome. Oh, we got a little a little bag of of tricks. Al Simmons. Well, I don't think Al Simmons in his entirety is in here, but I'm guessing he's got some spare parts. So actually, I'll save this for when I get Al Simmons out. That makes sense. And now we have, what does this say? Oh, Al Simmons, there you go. That's a little bit bigger. Still not huge. That, that was one thing that I found when I, I bought a couple of old Spawn figures recently. They were smaller than I was expecting. It feels like, like they're more sort of six inch scale than seven inch scale. Whoa, this, this is a grim gross character. Zombie Al Simmons. Oh my goodness, look, oh, he's missing his brain at the back. Oh, oh, you can see, you can see right through. That's really cool, so grim and gruesome. 
Actually, he's got a, a very cool removable uh, army backpack here as well. So if you were a little you know, modifier or, or whatever, or a customizer, you could take this off. This would go great on the Punisher. That would look badass on the Punisher. But still, he's got his zombie gut spilling out there. Ah, so grim and gross, but very, very cool. So I'm gonna stand him up and let's see, we've got his accessories here too. So he's got, oh gosh, he's got a backpack full of limbs. What on earth? Tom McFarlane, you crazy mama jama. Uh, a very cool machine gun with the gun belt there. That's pretty wicked. He's got his, ah, he's got his, whoop. Oh, I caught it. Well, the table caught it. He's got his his army hat with the same hole blown out the back. Oh, that's so, so grim and gross. He's got all sorts of things. There's a cool uh, Uzi machine gun there. And we also have, oh, uh, oh this is a, a base. A grim, gross skeleton decomposing body. Oh, it's like the arm decomposing arm with the gun there. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's a, a pretty gross bunch of accessories. And I'm not sure what this little thing is, but either way, that that again, it's it's a gross, disgusting figure, but it's very cool. So uh, yeah, that's another one for the eBay, for the eBay listings. Although like if you're a Resident Evil fan or something, just it doesn't have to be Spawn. That's just a great generic zombie soldier. That's really cool. The detail in there is amazing. All right, we've got a hefty one now. Got a hefty, heavy one. Ah, The Curse. I think The Curse is one that I was sort of semi-interested in, in purchasing. But again, it was one of those nice to have but not need to have situations. And I kind of thought to myself, you know what? There's a lot of things that you do really want. So save the money, put it on eBay, see what folks want to spend on it. So here we go. Oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff here. And this actually in hand, this looks pretty cool. The Curse of Spawn. And this is a cool sort of techno cyber kind of design. This actually looks pretty awesome. Uh, I might make a separate offer for this or, or just put it on eBay and I'll do the bidding as well. Save myself postage. But yeah, this one looks really cool with the grinning teeth. Reminds me of Judge Death from the Judge Dredd comics. There's a lot going on here. The cybernetics in the arm there. Again, another, another Judge Dredd thing. That's kind of like Meme Machine from Judge Dredd. That's awesome. And he has a couple of little like impy type creatures. Uh, I'm not sure what they're called, but they look super fun. So you can pose him there with his little minions running around next to him. That is really, really cool. I might be tempted again to make the old se separate second offer on that because that is pretty, pretty badass. I really, really like that. That is a cool figure. You got the, oh, just look at the big old flowing cape behind him there. The spiked boots, that's, that's really, really cool. I really dig that. There's something about masks where you sort of can't see the eyes or the expression it looks sort of more mysterious. You can take the whole, the whole hood off and you can see all the detail going on here too. There's a lot of cool stuff there. Again, like any other McFarlane character, uh, it's pre-posed, but it's a cool pose. I mean, what do you want? Articulation and the ability to make our own poses. That's what we want. But failing that, we want a cool pose. We got a pretty cool pose. All right, there's still, there's still loads of stuff in here. This is really, really fun. Okay, this is another big chunky one. This just says spawn. So this could be anything. This could be a lot of things. So I'll rip my way into this one and see what we've got going on here. And uh, I'm trying not to rip the bubble wrap to pieces because I'll try and reuse this. Always try and reuse bubble wrap. Good, good logic, folks. Always try and reuse your bubble wrap. Protect the environment because Lord knows that as toy collectors, we get through a lot of this stuff. Ah, this is the monster, the monster morphing version of Spawn. Again, I was tempted by this guy. Whoa! Look at this beast. Look at this beast here. How crazy is this guy? So much going on. Check out the little thorns and teeth coming off the top. Looks a bit symbiotish. Like if a symbiote bonded with a xenomorph, then 
you'll kind of get like get something like this. I, I love always with McFarlane, they always use the proper chains and that, that just looks so, so cool. But the design on the face, uh, these, these little ridges here almost look kind of like ears in a way, which kind of looks adorable. But yeah, very, very xenomorphy with like, a, like an alien queen with the crest going on here. Yeah, big gnarly claws, uh, almost like, like a, a predator uh, claw blade coming over the top there. Really, really awesome. You've got like the bone spurs on the knees that kind of give those extra details and the tendrils coming, coming off the back. Again, very symbiote -y. very symbiote tendrils. This is really, really cool. If I had chosen to buy this guy, I wouldn't have been disappointed. That's that's really cool. Uh, so right now it's that guy, the she spawn, and the curse of spawn. Those those three are pretty awesome. All right, now we have uh, oh we got some some bases. So we don't need the bases yet. I'm just going to do the actual figures themselves. We also have um, oh a little ah pirate spawn. So we got a pirate spawn coming up. So that would make this guy pirate spawn. So let's see what Pirate Spawn looks like. I was always impressed with all the different iterations and ideas that McFarlane would come up with for Spawn. Once he realized he had that little uh, money-making franchise, <laughs> he was his imagination was limitless for ways to monetize it. So here we have, yo, I be Pirate Spawn. I got me hook here and uh, etc. Again, I'm not much of an improv guy. But yeah, looks like a fun pirate, straight out of kind of Pirates of the Caribbean, which is a much more family-friendly kind of franchise, but still, they would have an imagery like this. And it's it's fun, it's decent. Oh, he's got these full-on peg leg. That peg leg's kind of cool there with the spikes around it. It's got that real wooden kind of feeling. And he got surprising articulation in the legs as well. But again, you're only ever really gonna pose him in that, that stance that you can see him in there. But that's a fun little figure. I kind of like him. And then we've got all of the accessories as well. So we'll see what comes with Pirate Spawn. Annoyingly, I'm gonna have to <laughs> wrap all these up again when I sell them, but that's ah, all right. It's all part of, the, part of the fun process. So he's got like a little, um, I think that's like a, like a drinking sort of horn that you can drink from. He's got a big old blade on the back here too, along with, with a keg, a keg of rum for me hearties. Along with, ooh, a, a spike ball, I think to change out his hook for a spike ball, that's kind of fun. And a gun as well. That's that's really fun. That's, that's a fun collection of uh, items and accessories. But wait, there's more. <laughs> what else do we have here? We have, ooh, hello. <laughs> we have some Batman candy sticks. Thanks, Leanne, I appreciate that. We also have, um, oh, she spawned too. There's more, more stuff for she spawn. Interesting. We have, oh, she's got like a, uh, a staff of some kind, I think. I was wondering, cause I thought I saw something that like the port for something to go into. And I guess this is it. Wow, I am giving like big props to this. These have been impeccably wrapped, like no expense spared or no time and effort really. It's not too expensive tape and bubble wrap, but it takes time and care. And that's what we like to see here. So yeah, we have, uh, which is why I need to open these very, very carefully and not like some big clumsy idiot. We have, ah, yes, a badass looking uh, blade hook spear type thing. I'm trying to think where this goes in She Spawn though. That is the question. And I can see, ah, yes, yes, there's a, a couple of hinges on her back here. I was wondering what might go in there. There we go. Wow, she's got a lot going on. That's really, really cool. That That's a really dynamic figure. It's, it's clever because it's weighted really well. So you've got the big heavy gun sticking out, but actually she, she isn't overweighted. She sits, boom, perfectly. That's really, really cool. And I think that is everything. Yep, uh, oh wait, also I've got some, some more candy cigarettes. I got Minion candy cigarettes now, so that's fun. And finally, there is a letter at the bottom as well. Aw, there's a, there's a full-on letter here. That's, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna start reading this, and if it's like super personal, then I'll just edit this out. <laughs> 
Hi David, so it was McFarlane that first got me into figure collecting back when I happened upon the first wave of movie maniacs in a local shop many years ago now. The collecting continued, uh, my friend and I ended up with pretty much all the movie maniacs uh, and spawn figures. All have been, all have long been sold now except for this small selection that sat in a box in my loft for years. I have labelled them all up uh, in case you want to uh, look, look them up. Uh, might help with putting the accessories on the she spawn. Yeah, that definitely helped. Uh, just wanted to add that this was a pleasure chatting online briefly. Doing this box has given me something to do for a minute. It's been a tough year, so the distraction has been welcome as it's been a tough time being off work this whole time uh, as I work in theatre. Oh, I work in theatre too, or I used to. And I will again. We both will again. Uh, so any interaction is a godsend. Uh, also, your beautifully enthusiastic videos. Ah, it's true. Um, I got distracted loving myself too much there. Uh, are always a joy to watch, so it's great to be contributing towards one. Uh, well, anyway, I won't go on any longer. I'll let you get to the unboxing. Keep up the great work. Enjoy. Thank you. Ah, well, that's just a little bit bloody lovely. Thank you so very much for that. That's just put a big old smile on my face. And just to make sure, yes, that is, whew, and that is everything, folks. My goodness, what a big old selection we've got here. So I'm gonna photograph these, make them look pretty, put them on eBay and see what we get for them. This has been fun. This has reminded me how much I do enjoy these classic Spawn figures. There's some really cool stuff here and some really grim, gross stuff. But my goodness, I think certainly the star of this uh, set set here is definitely She Spawn. She's fantastic, very, very cool. I love that. So many accessories, so much cool stuff going on there. And then there's a lot of weird, grim, gross, awesome, badass things. So thank you so much for taking part in the unboxing. I'm gonna go put these on eBay and guys, thanks very much for watching. And until next time, keep displaying moral behavior. Chill.